Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today in this video, we'll see how to install reporting services just like we installed analysis services and integration services in my previous videos. Here we'll see how to install SSRS. SSRS is a tool where you can create reports and the reports that you create are very, very feature rich and very interactive reports you can create. Okay, and uh, let's see how you can install SSRS. So I'll go to the same folder of SQL Server 2014 RTM where I have the bits to install SQL Server and uh, SQL Server reporting services or SSRS just like SSIS and RS comes with SQL Server and you know just clicking the SQL Server.exe will open the installation wizard and you click on installation and click on the first link new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation right and you can uh, this will open up a new window and I'll close the previous window so in this wizard you can you know just just ignore the warnings right I'll click next um, just like we installed SSIS and RS we just chose those features we'll choose the SSRS feature I'll, I'll show you and with SSRS there is some specific features that you will see here okay I'll click next okay here I don't have to perform a new installation but I have to add a feature to an existing installation that is SQL Server 2014 this is the named instance I'll click next and the feature selection window that is coming now okay so I'll make it a little bit, bit big so that we can see all the features right so in our previous videos we installed integration services and analysis services here we'll install the reporting services so there so you will see reporting services many a times like here reporting services native reporting services SharePoint, reporting services add-in for SharePoint product, right? So as these named as SharePoint, you can even go through the description that these are related to SharePoint. So until unless you are working with SharePoint integration, you don't need to choose them. Just choose the reporting services native option. Okay. And the features of the description says that includes reporting services, a server based application for creating, managing and delivering reports to email, multiple files, formats and interactive web based formats. The native mode server provides all processing and management functionality through reporting services component. Reporting services cannot be clustered. And click next and you are done. And as I told earlier in my previous video for SSIS and RS, better option to provide the service account name here. If you are working on your dev or test or whatever you are at a prod machine, right? So as I'm working on my own machine right now, so I don't need to, you know, change this, let it run like this. So click next, uh, install only option, click next. Okay, and that's it, just install. Okay, so this is only, you can see, you know, it's very, it, it is very, very simple to check the SRS feature and choose it to install. Okay, so our installation of reporting services has succeeded and I'll close this window right okay just like SSIS you cannot work with these two things from SSMS because reporting services is a tool where you have to design report just like SSIS where you have to design packages right so SSIS is not meant for that though you can check the metadata and the databases behind that okay so as we have installed SQL Server reporting services now we have to configure the reporting services so that we can use it. So after configuration of reporting services, you will be able to see two databases here, which will contain the, which are used to store the metadata of reporting services, like reporting services and reporting services stem DB. And you'll also get the URL for hosting your SSRS reports and viewing your reports, right? So let's go to SQL Server reporting services, uh, configuration manager. So here is the, reporting services configuration manager right just and you will get the window so server name and the report instance name just check it and click connect okay here check the all the details and just click on service account in the left hand navigation bar here so right now it is uh, the inbuilt account that was used while installed and you might need to change it to the service account it's a best practice to change it to a service account so that you know the service account normally has elevated access so you should not be facing issues access issues the web service URL okay so this is the web service URL if it is not present here you can click on the apply button and this will be created for you and this will be used to you know um, host your reports 
database so this is the database that we're talking about that will come over here okay so you need to click on change database okay and you need to click on create a new report server database okay click next okay now here you need to change the server name that is sql server 2014 this is our instance name of the reporting service okay and uh, the password name uh, database name report server click next click next next and finished okay so this will internally create those um, databases to contain the metadata of reports okay, click finish okay and go to the ssms and just refresh it you'll be able to see the report server and report server tempdb databases over here okay now just just check other urls okay the this is the url for your reports and if you want some email settings execution account and if you have some encryption then you can check it out okay okay and you can exit from the configuration manager after configuring all your things okay so this is all about uh, installing and configuring reporting services in my forthcoming videos i'll be talking about how to create your reports and how to host and how to host them on the web url okay thank you for watching this video and please let me know your comments please like the video if you really like it and let me know if you want me to add something else or if you want me to talk about something specific and please subscribe by subscribing my videos you'll get to know what all videos i'll be putting up in future and thanks a lot thank you